AI holds a lot of potential uh, to improve the, the way that we treat diseases, that way that we diagnose, that way that we um, promote the welfare and, and, and general health, including mental health, uh, of people and populations. The other type of issues that we uh, one can uh, think about introducing AI is uh, algorithmic bias. We know that um, tools are trained on data that we have collected and we do not, we, I mean humans and researchers, and there is always some uh, risk of bias within the data sets that we have and what AI does is amplifying those biases. We shouldn't just be looking at healthcare professionals as individuals, but we have to be looking at how these things fit into existing systems and what are the systemic problems that might arise for introducing these technologies. AI promises efficiency and accuracy and time saving, but how do you achieve that? What do you do with the time that you save? And how do you understand accuracy and risk in this particular context are not very straightforward. How do you keep AI safe in medicine? That's, and how do, you, how do you build in well-being into the technologies? I think, I think that's, that's very exciting, particularly for medicine. For example, the technology that uh, we've been working on recently called Drug GPT, which uh, is a large language model to support clinicians and makes recommendations about medicines and identifies adverse drug reactions. And that's a great example of a medical tool that we want to make with AI that's immediately useful for clinicians and which can be proven to be safe.